EES, which is pronounced EASE, is an acronym for Engineering Equation Solver. In previous videos, we've discussed EASE functions and procedures. These programming constructs contain some set of calculations that must be completed over and over again. They can be debugged carefully one time and then used with confidence after that. Functions and procedures both operate using assignments rather than equations, and they can therefore use logic statements. One of the important capabilities of EASE is the ability to assign units to variables and then check the unit consistency of the resulting calculations. This is discussed in section 1.5 of Mastering EASE. It's also possible to assign a unit system to use within an EASE program, and you can do this using the unit system dialog here or the dollar unit system directive and both of these are discussed in section 4.1 of Mastering Ease. This is good practice whenever you're using any internal function or procedure and in particular this comes in handy it's absolutely necessary when you're using the Ease property routines. The units of the variables that appear in Ease functions and procedures can also be set. For example this function computes the pressure of a fluid given the specific volume and temperature using the Peng-Robinson equation of state. Clearly this function as written expects the units of specific volume V to be meters cubed per kilogram and T temperature to be Kelvin and it returns the pressure then in units of Pascal. So if I call the function as shown here setting V and T and calculating P I'll get two unit warnings and these occur because the units have not yet been specified for the variables within the function itself. So units can be set for variables within functions and procedures using either the variable information dialog or the solution window. So for example here <coughs> I can go to the correct tab in the solution window and set the units for each of the variables. Um, the result now is that I have no unit warnings. Alternatively I can open the variable information window and navigate to the page corresponding to this function and set the units in this column. And then one final method is to actually just use the dollar var info directive in the function itself as I'm doing here. In some cases though you may not know the units of the variables in a function or procedure until it's actually executed. So for example the function here is written with the expectation that it will be called with the ease unit system configured for standard SI units meters, Kelvin, joules, and Pascal. However it would be really nice to still be able to use this function and have it work properly if it's called from an ease program that is using any set of units. And this is particularly important for functions or procedures that are going to be placed into libraries so that they can be called by multiple users. This capability can be implemented using the unit system dollar function. The unit system dollar function has the calling protocol that's shown here where dimension dollar is a string containing the dimension of interest and the unit system dollar function then returns the string unit dollar which contains the expected units corresponding to the dimension dimension dollar for the unit system setting that the ease is currently configured to work in. So let's rewrite the function uh, p underscore pr so that it operates correctly regardless of the unit system that ease is currently configured to use. So first the unit system dollar function is going to be used to determine the units that are associated with specific volume, temperature, and pressure. So that's what I'm doing here. V dollar equal unit system dollar volume. So that should return whatever unit specific volume should have in the current configuration of my ease program. T dollar, same thing for temperature. P dollar, same thing for pressure. Next, the values of the specific volume and temperature are converted from whatever units they happen to have into base SI units because base SI units are the units that are required to actually implement the Peng-Robinson equation of state. So I'm going to uh, come up with new variables VSI and TSI and VSI is just a specific volume in SI units and so we can do that unit conversion using the convert and the convert temp functions um, and then we'll use the strings V$ dollar and T$ dollars to indicate the units that uh, ease currently has. So here VSI equals V times convert V dollars that's the units that ease is currently configured to work in uh, and then I'm converting two meters cubed per kilogram and then the same thing here for temperature but I'm using the convert temp function. 
The calculations are then carried out in the same way in base SI units and we're going to then obtain the pressure predicted by the Peng-Robinson equation of state uh, also in base SI units so this this pressure is going to be in Pascals. So finally I need to return the pressure uh, in the unit system that's expected by ease based on the current unit system settings and that's converted again using the convert function. So here I'm going to convert from Pascal, which is where the pressure that was uh, calculated is in Pascal, and I'm going to convert it to P dollar, and that P dollar again is a string containing the current units of pressure. In order to make this run without any unit errors or unit warnings, I need to set the units of all the variables in the PR function, the P-PR function workspace, and uh, the, the best way to do that is to go again to the variable information window, uh, find the page corresponding to this function, and then go over to the units column and, and fill out each of these units. Now some of these units uh, can be set in a straightforward way because they're unambiguous. So for example, A and B, those constants have units. We know what those units are. And then the same thing for uh, TSI, VSI, and uh, P underscore PRSI, right? These are all the SI uh, versions of these variables. So TSI is in Kelvin, VSI is in meters cubed per kilogram, and so forth. Now, the units of V and T and uh, P underscore PR, those are not known at the time I'm writing this function, right? Those are going to be, again, related to whatever unit system EASE is currently con con configured to work in. So in order to set those units, I'm going to use the strings V dollar, T dollar, and P dollar, as I've shown here. So now I have a function that can be used and called with EASE uh, having any uh, unit system settings. So for example here I'm going to set the units to uh, English unit system, uh, mass, BTUs, Fahrenheit, and PSI. So in this English unit system I need to uh, use a specific volume in units of feet cubed per pound mass, uh, temperatures in units of Fahrenheit, and I call the function and I should get back a pressure and that pressure should have units of PSI and you can see it works fine in this unit system there's no unit warnings or anything like that and I can change the unit system however I want and it will continue to operate um, in, in, in the way that I expect it to operate because I've made it very flexible now with regards to the units that it's called in. So this is one of a series of tutorials that is meant to describe the operation of the E software if you'd like to get more information about Ease, uh, obtain the software, or access more of these tutorials, uh, please go to the website fchartsoftware.com. These tutorials are excerpted from the book Mastering Ease, which can also be obtained from the FChart Software website.